As the late great astrophysicist Carl Sagan put it, we are made of star stuff. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Whoa, it's an amazing idea, but it's not a metaphor. Many of the atoms that make up you and everything else in the world were literally forged in the nuclear cores of stars. You've seen the periodic table in chemistry class, but where did the elements on that table come from? For centuries, the thinking was that they didn't come from anywhere. They were just as old as the universe and they just simply existed. Later, scientists reasoned that elements originated from the Big Bang. After all, they thought it made sense that the explosive pinprick that started everything 14 billion years ago would also spew out all the elements. That is, up until about 60 years ago. For more, we talked to best-selling author and periodic table superfan Sam Keen. But in the late 1950s, a group of scientists came up with an interesting alternative. They suggested the universe was once a sea of hydrogen with a smattering of helium and lithium. Eventually, hydrogen atoms clumped together into stars, and the extreme gravitational pressure inside these stars began fusing hydrogen atoms into helium atoms, the reaction that lights up every star in the sky. All right, cool. So we've got stars in our new universe, but after a few billion years, those stars begin to run out of hydrogen fuel. Once this happens, stars lacking hydrogen fuse helium in their cores instead. Sometimes helium atoms stick together and form even numbered elements. Sometimes helium gets split up and its protons and neutrons break off to create odd number elements. So it starts to switch to burning off helium instead of hydrogen. And well, why don't we have Sam explain what happens next? After a few hundred million years, stars deplete their helium supply. Some die. But bigger, heavier stars, we're talking at least eight times more massive than the sun, move on to crush carbon together into six more elements, up to magnesium. All right, by this point, the stars are burning hot. And by hot, I mean hot. The biggest stars are burning around five billion degrees. So as the stars burn, the snowball effect where stars burn off lighter elements and start fusing heavier ones together keeps on rolling. Eventually, a stable version of every element up to number 26, iron, is out there in the universe. So where does this leave elements 27 through 92? Scientists suspect they come from many big bangs that happen when those big, heavy stars die. As they burn through elements such as magnesium and silicon, extremely massive stars, at least 12 times the size of our sun, burn down to iron cores in about one Earth day. But before perishing, there's an apocalyptic death rattle. Burned out stars implode under their own immense gravity, collapsing thousands of miles in just seconds. Then, rebounding from this collapse, they explode outward. And I mean explode. For one glorious month, these supernovas stretch millions of miles and shine brighter than a billion stars. Every natural combination of element and isotope spews forth from this particle blizzard. So why should you care where all that stuff on that periodic table came from? Well, without the nuclear furnaces in the sky to create carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen from hydrogen and helium, and without those massive explosions, Earth and, well, you, would never have been formed to watch this awesome video. Do you love this video? You want more? Share it, like it, and subscribe. And be sure to check out Sam's other video on mega sharks. For more amazing videos about the elements, head to teachchemistry.org and join the American Association of Chemistry Teachers. For 50 bucks, you get access to exclusive videos, a magazine, a periodical about teaching chemistry, and more. It makes a great gift for your favorite teacher or science geek. Also check out Sam's excellent book, The Disappearing Spoon, available in fine bookstores and internets everywhere. Thanks to AACT and Sam Keen for making these videos happen.